name is Stanley Goldman. I'm a senior engineer at GitHub, and you're watching Business Day Tech Bridge. We're here with the GitHub Black to Cats. The Black to Cats are GitHub's Black Employee Resource Group, and we're here with a group of four who came to organize the Code Niger Hackathon along with our partners at Andela. The local scene in Nigeria is vibrant. There are people that are very excited to be working on tech, being excited to uh, be entrepreneurs, excited to affect their communities. Um, they're excited to work together. Yeah, N Nigerian developers are super active there. We've seen how inter how much energy there is on from Nigerian developers on Twitter. Um, with GitHub, we I work on the education team, and so we have a number of of Nigerian developer student developers who are campus experts who are excited about the GitHub student developer pack, and so we knew that there was a lot of energy here, and we wanted to come and collaborate with with the people in that ecosystem. This is the second time this year for GitHub. Um, this is the first time for the Code Niger event. What does it mean to be a software engineer? Um, at, at its simplest, at its simplest, engineers are always just solving a problem, right? So you need to be able to identify a problem, you need to be able to look for the resources to get it accomplished or, or to get it fixed, and the perseverance to actually push through and actually make your vision come to life. It's also important to be able to communicate with your team, to support each other, to understand that you're always learning and you can learn from your team members. Sometimes if we are talking about making women feel comfortable coming into the industry, um, women-only spaces can be helpful because it's intimidating to ask a question in a room full of men or to be a new person starting out and feeling like you don't belong. So women-only spaces can be helpful for women who are entering the industry, learning how to be a developer, and, and just getting started. And then once you're in the workplace, um, it's important to have other women around to commiserate with, to um, have a support system. And it's important to have protections in place against sexual harassment, to have, um, to know that everyone's being evaluated fairly and not that there's there are ways to mitigate the biases that we all have.